What is your process of uh, visualizing the shot before you go to the studio and start taking photos? Let's say if you have uh, some product uh, or any subject and you want to take you know, hero shots, so it's not just a plain white background, but something rather creative and nice. What do you do? How do you brainstorm this? Well, for me, I usually go to Pinterest and uh, search for something that may inspire me, something that will give me some ideas. And then I go to studio. Before this, I may buy some props and start shooting. In this video, I want to show you how you can use AI, a specific AI tool, and that will help you with uh, creative visualization and uh, as well as to work with clients. Um, in terms of getting on the same page when you are going to do hero shot. So we have these two applications beside the rest, a smart photo generator and styled photo generator. I'll show you how to use both uh, to brainstorm ideas and how to get results. For this, I'm going to use uh, two images that um, today, it was uh, Thursday, I did the review uh, during the review and question and answer session that I run for for TG Premium members every Thursday, 1 p.m. Pacific time. If you're one of them, uh, check on YouTube. Uh, you can submit your image and get my review. So uh, it was image from uh, Hamish Makush, if I pronounce it right. Cool shot, but the plain background, uh, very good shot. But just a gray background, right? And uh, there is one more shot uh, from uh, Julian A. Uh, Greener. Again, simple image of uh, well good photography uh, well done image of this uh, tequila bottle on just plain background so now let's brainstorm how to use the same subject uh, for the hero shot for something more interesting let's start with this guy so i downloaded it and i'm going to use first smart photo generator uh, that means where we need to put a little bit of prompt a little bit I'm going to get that image so once uploaded it will be uh, in your upload uh, gallery this is kind of your personal gallery, so you don't need to upload uh, again. You can use it again and again, same image on different applications. Let's select this one and it will be uh, placed without background. So application will remove the background from it, right? Uh, let's have landscape. I'm positioning it somewhere like this. And I think it will be cool to have uh, old Turkish coffee shop or something like that, right? And I'm going to put here, uh, let's say, well, that's it. It's not real prompt. It's just an idea. You can leave it blank, by the way. But if you have some ideas, you can enter something. It's an instruction for AI to, to create something for you. So I'm going to turn on this cinematic style. And I also going to turn on color match because cinematic style will generate image that will be uh, really vivid and colorful and uh, sort of like a color grading in you know, cinematic. So this will adjust uh, the white balance of your uh, subject to match the generated background. It's cool. You can try with or without, but I'll do it with on. So this is what we got. We have uh, this atmospheric look, right? And I think it's nice. When I added uh, bokeh, I think I added uh, bokeh to the prompt, uh, it made a uh, really blurry background. Without it, it won't be that blurry. Just keep this in mind. So if you like it, you can download PNG. Uh, let's download it. Uh, let's see how it look like uh, with a little bit uh, without all these watermarks. So let's evaluate it. Have uh, we change image slightly? Uh, we didn't change uh, subject, but uh, we do change edges to reflect the lighting. So we have this uh, lighting, uh, warm lighting, and we added this reflection here and a reflection here. If you look at the original image, it was no such reflections, no reflection here and no here. Well, this is why we're cool, because we're not just placing the uh, clipped out subject on generated background. We do blend it. So this is why it looked like real photography. So if it looks good, you can always upscale if the image is large enough. In our case, upscale, you see upscale is disabled because the image uh, source image is small. If you will have it for at least 15 megapixel large JPEG, it will be upscaled nicely. You can upscale it. You see now it's the scale upscale is enabled because it will be small. When image is small, uh, you can run upscale. These pixels won't be stretched. We have calculated. So. This is how you can uh, use this uh, smart photo generator to get some ideas. You can always add, uh, by the way, let me 
put it back. Uh, you can add uh, a little bit different prompt, it will be different result. You can turn off cinematic style, you can turn it on, play with it. It's free and register and play. Each generation is completely free. But now I want to show you how to use this uh, styled photo generator. It's even more interesting. Instead of thinking and you know how to prompt this stuff, even as simple as we have, uh, let's do it a little bit different. So I have Inkscape. I uh, on, on the gen and here instead of prompt, there is a prompt. It's called keyword, but you don't need to put anything there. You just need to have reference image. And let's say I went to Pinterest and start looking for something cool about coffee and found some images. This image just atmospheric image. This smart photo creator plus style transfer it's not going to repeat image or steal it or it just will give an idea in terms of lighting colors a uh, little bit of composition idea of this reference shot so let's say i downloaded all uh, these coffee shots like this for example or maybe like that again this is just a mood and colors let's upload it and use it as a style transfer in cinematic style we don't let's just nothing just like this so we have something similar, not saying that exactly the same image, but instead of uh, putting in a prompt, you can always have image that will explain uh, what should be there. You see the coffee cup, uh, you see this little uh, steam coming out of it. So this is what it is. By the way, we have new features that you're going to like. Uh, there is download PSD file. So when you download PSD file, Let's open. It will give you, this is the professional. Oops. This is how it will look like. So this is low resolution. Uh, you can always have upscale if, again, uh, larger resolution. But here you have layers, each element of the generated image on the layer. First, this is our subject. This is just a subject as is. Then we have layers that was generated image. It may have more changes. It's, it's different uh, than subject a little bit because it's recreated it. Uh, but you can grab some colors from it, uh, reflections. Then we also have uh, another layer with, again, more reflections and everything. W why you need this? Because look at this, right? This is generated, so it has some distortions. Uh, but on top, you have your image. We combine this uh, inside the application, but here you can do uh, this manually if needed. If you are a photographer, you can uh, create a mask, grab a mask, and then uh, manually fix some details. Everything is aligned for you, so it's super easy for you to just you know, finalize this image better than uh, AI did it. It's option for uh, pro subscribers. So this is how easy uh, to use the reference image generate. Let's try this bottle. There is no upscale, unfortunately, or if you can make it smaller, it may be upscale. No, still low resolution. But uh, here we want to try, well, different ideas again. Let's do vertical. And uh, I went looking for, in on Pinterest, uh, looking for different uh, ideas for uh, alcohol. And I got some, let me do, upload it. Again, this is the fastest and simplest way to, to get things without any prompt. Reference image. Again why it's needed. Before you go to the studio, before you start building, you can easily test your subject or maybe you can talk to a client saying, hey, we can have hero shots and send examples before you start shooting. It's way faster than do it in the studio. I used to do it in the studio. Let's grab this one, for example. Interesting color schema. We'll see how it will work. A cup of coffee we're going to remove and that's it. Pricing option, color match. Let's keep color match. Color match is really cool, especially for uh, glass subjects because glass is transparent, so it's better to be the same color. So I don't think it's really nice over there. We can try different like this one, for example. Let's do cinematic style. It will be interesting. This is nice. The only thing here is different uh, that the actual bottle it was shot a little bit from below. Look at this. Julian made it and uh, doesn't really understand it. So he tried to make it at least straight shot. This is a little bit off, but um, otherwise it's it's really nice. I, I like it. Wow. Look at this. Let's download it again. Uh, it changed the uh, source image, right? I think it's added to, to match it a little bit more. Probably this as well, because we have light over there, right? Uh, let's see. It's added uh, light from here and added uh, well, a little bit more enhanced uh, the right side. Nice. Again, uh, you can always download PSD and uh, have it uh, on the layers. 
Uh, we can also, let's try the same bottle in Smart Photo Generator. This is our bottle. Let's have it on landscape. If you want to have table, let's put it somewhere here, right? And I want to put it like uh, old antenna bar, cozy lighting, something like this, cinematic style, color match. Not bad. The only thing, some something on the bottom. Oh no, bottom is fine. This is how the bottle look like we have on the bottom stretch thing. So uh, I think it's nice. When you have the cinematic style, it may do you like too much of cinematic. You can regenerate. Uh, let's try without cinematic style. Uh, just do studio photography option, for example, on color match. You can always try different styles. It will uh, get you to the different uh, outcome. So this is how you can use AI as a tool, as your um, creative um, helper, right? You can easily visualize things. This is nice, actually. This is pretty good, I would say. And then you can even create a video. Nice. So last step, you can create video. You can have uh, no prompt or prompt. Uh, or you can do pen and right, pen and left. You'll see. So whenever it's running, you don't need to wait. You can always uh, leave it and uh, look at all the generations that you have. You will see jewelry. I already recorded that lesson, but uh, I'll post it a little bit later. So everything um, you can always, this was, it was nice, but look at this. It, it created that, that um, another site, a little bit of fantasy. <laughs> so I have this, uh, another image. Uh, it's on my portfolio and um, this one. If you've been with me, uh, you know that uh, on Pro Club it was a tutorial well, uh, where I was uh, taking photos of this um, Fahrenheit, and it was not digital background, it was actual background. With uh, I highlighted it with the lights, it was some printed background, uh, printed on paper, and it was kind of cool tutorial without digital background, make it like digital background. But now with it's way easier and way more interesting. But why I selected this um, specific subject? It's glass and it's transparent, right? You can see through it. This way, it's super critical what kind of ground you're gonna put behind it. You can do it in Photoshop or you can do it using NeuroViz. It's it's really important to, to match the background. And with reference image generator, it, it may be really easy and um, actually cool. So I position, I have horizontal shots, so I want to have vertical one. It's cool for social media. I want to have upscale is enabled, which is nice. So I position this way somewhere and reference image. Again, reference image, you understand it should be something with reddish, orangish background behind. Otherwise, it won't look bad, right? It won't look like it was there. I like this one. We already use it, but let's use it for this. Let's do it. So we have this image and it's actually look quite well, like it was photographed this way. It's really, I, I like it because it has same color behind it and it blended it really nice. And if you look, I'm going to download it and um, then we're going to upscale it because it was a really good one. But uh, meanwhile, let me just try a different uh, image. I think this one may look cool too. Look at this fabric. And again, this is from Pinterest. Hopefully it's not going to be transferred the, the horn, horn <laughs> process. Meanwhile. We can go back to the gallery and uh, look at this image. By the way, I downloaded it, so let's see how it's... Okay, nice. We do have this slight reflection uh, because we need to re get the reflection of the this light. And uh, nice. So I like it. We, we're going to do upscale. And then, for example, I can do it in my uh, place in my portfolio. So what is this? Ha! I said... That little bit gets transferred, so I don't like this horn, but you, you got the idea. You can see I was playing with exactly the same thing uh, earlier, with different backgrounds. It's, well, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it's not. You can do a lot using this. So, this is Styled Photo Generator. In next video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Guided Shape Generator. This is even more amazing, you, you've seen uh, on this preview. You can create a splash, you can create fire, you can create smoke by drawing the shape. You can basically draw the shape of this around your subject and it will be generated that it was shot uh, that way. Amazing stuff, but I don't want to uh, put it too much in this video. Let me know what you think. It's coming to everywhere. It definitely will change uh, the way the commercial photography works because 
of all this, but uh, not only, we have those tools, I don't know, did you guys check or not, AI Retoucher Studio, it's just super crazy. If you have some really bad photo, really bad quality photo, it will retouch it for you. And it, it's really crazy. So I have this, it's iPhone shot of the bracelet with those fake pearls. It's super bad quality, super bad. So if I put it here on this retoucher and just hit process, let's download and check. You've seen the, what it was. Look at this. This is what I call uh, high-end retouching in one click. So check it out, but like I said, it will be another video how to use it properly because there are some. And other stuff is amazing. Subscribe and don't miss next video. Also, I'm going to run a webinar of how to use all of this. It's a completely free webinar where you can uh, online ask me questions. Uh, you can submit your photo so we can process it. So if you want to learn it, uh, link under the description and re register. I'll be doing it every week or so just to show you guys how to use AI tools in a uh, modern world for photographers. Bye.